Hey guys, welcome into another YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a bunch of testing, redoing a bunch of testing on the A2000. Um, so first up is Casper, then I will do Flux because those are the two that have like changed. There's been like minor updates and stuff that have changed the results you can get. And then after those two, I'll just do all the same settings on all the other algorithms um, and pretty much just find out what the um, power draw at the wall was because previously in my other testing I only had the power measuring device reading. Uh, so yeah, that's what this video is going to be. And starting with Casper, so what I did here is I booted into uh, BZ Miner uh, with these settings here, so 1350 locked core clock, 475 on the core offset, 810 on the locked memory clock. So they just go into this field like this, uh, exactly as they're written there. And then what you do is um, put that flight sheet in, set that flight sheet, uh, reboot the rig, let it um, boot into that flight sheet, and then you change the flight sheet to lol minor uh, and you don't need to have any settings in there for lol minor and this is the results that we got so 252 mega hash uh, sorry I've put down 251.9 on average because it does drop down occasionally uh, and 35.5 watts at the wall so super low power draw I actually found it quite weird that it's below what the software wattage is you can see the software wattage is 36, it says 36, always says 36, but at the wall it is definitely 35.5, I measured it many times and it's definitely 35.5. Uh, those are those settings that I showed, 1350 plus 475, so that's the locked core clock, and then the 475 is the offset, 810 is the memory clock, locked memory clock. And the efficiency is 7.09 mega hash per watt. So uh, not bad. It's not as good as the 6700 XT, the 6800, and the 3070. But it's still better than the 6600 and pretty much every other GPU other than that. So you can see it here. Still shows up in green, which means it's the top third. The way these are split up is... Uh, the top third shows up in, I believe it's a third, it might be 25%. Um, but yeah, top, we'll just say third. Top third shows up in green, bottom third shows up in red, and then the middle ones show up in purple. Um, yeah, so 7 mega hash per watt, 3 GPUs there are better than that, and the rest are worse. That's pretty much uh, all for this algorithm. Next up is Flux. Alright, I'm just finished up with Flux. We're getting about 27 sols on average. Uh, you can see the flight sheet here specifies the GPU clock or core clock and the memory clock. We've got 1000 on the core clock and 6750 on the memory clock. Um, so these, uh, this clock here is the way it's done in Windows. So it's uh, looks a lot different than the way we're used to seeing it as Hive OS users. Um, <coughs> and then we've got this core offset just here of 350. Uh, and then these are the results. So obviously it was Mini Z version 1.9 ZBrav Z5B. Um, and this is the A2000 again. It's not modded. Uh, we're getting 27 souls at. 54 watts measured at the wall. Um, the efficiency is 0 0.5 on the dot. And there are those settings again. 1000 locked core clock, 350 core offset, 6750 locked in the uh, minor for the memory clock. And comparing that to other GPUs, we have a glitch in the system. Um, no, I just forgot to click at that. So you can see 0.5. Uh, so the cards that we've got that are more efficient 
then this one on flux are the 3070, 3080, sorry, 6800, um, and the 6600. And the 6700 XT isn't quite there. Um, I imagine probably a lot of the other 30 series are also up there as well. Um, I don't know why this card just isn't as efficient on flux as the 30 series. Uh, or even some of the 6000 series. So it's kind of unusual, but because um, the A2000 is generally a pretty efficient card, it's usually really good, so would have expected better. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely it's pretty good. So yeah, uh, on to the next algorithm. All right, guys, I'm back and I've tested four more algorithms. This is ETC hash or ETH hash. Um, so we've got 39.68 mega hash at uh, 69 watts at the wall, um, which is an efficiency of 0 0.575 mega hash per watt. Uh, so not as good as the 6000 series, and this was the most efficient that I could get. Um, you can see that I'm like not full, fully uh, maxing out the hash rate. Like you can get 42, 44 mega hash, but this is much more efficient to have it uh, down at 39.68 uh, and still it's not as efficient as the 6000 series. Kapow, uh, again 14.4 mega hash, so nowhere near, and 0.1967 mega hash per watt, so nowhere near as efficient as the 6000 series cards we've got here, not even as efficient as the 5700 XT or the 3070. So. Uh, yeah, not necessarily a good algorithm for the A2000, but it's also not super inefficient or anything. Uh, wattage at the wall was 73.2 for just the GPU. Next up is Ergo, wall minor 1.63, 92 mega hash, 66.8 watts at the wall, uh, and it was an efficiency of 1.37. So this is a very accurate, sorry, very efficient on this GPU, um, the most efficient GPU that I've got listed here. Next up is Kryptonite GPU. Uh, so we're using Crypto Dredge 0270, uh, 12, 1215 hash on average um, at 56 watts, which is an efficiency of 21.7. Um, mega hash per watt, hash per watt, sorry, um, which is pretty good efficiency, but not quite as good as the most efficient on the 6700 XT, uh, and I imagine probably the 6800 is going to be uh, more efficient as well, at least I hope it will be, um, probably be testing that one soon, and yeah, that's all the testing that I've done since then you can see this is the Kryptonite GPU algorithm running here, 1218 hash at the moment, uh, at 54 watts in the software, those are the settings, uh, I'm not going to show them all running just because uh, it takes a lot of time, but yeah those are the results that I got, if we come over and compare them in the compare tab, um, that's annoying. Uh, just that one hasn't been linked up there. So we've got, yeah, 0 0.575. Uh, you can see the 6000 series is pretty much uh, all better than uh, what this is doing. This is about, uh, it's better than the rest of the 3000 series. So, <coughs> sorry, the 30 series. And over to Ravencoin, you can see it's pretty much mid range for efficiency on Ravencoin. Um, we showed it earlier, but yeah, Flux 0.5 is pretty pretty decent. Um, oh, we've got the same thing here. So Ergo, very efficient, most efficient card that I've got here to compare with. So that's awesome. A2000 is a really efficient card on Ergo. And looks like the same's happening here with Kryptonite GPU. But yeah, there we go, 21.69, uh, which is super efficient for um, 
this algorithm you can see 19's 23 is the highest but like that's pretty good efficiency with only one card being able to beat it and it's only on like the low low hash rate settings that it's able to beat it because uh, I had two different settings for the 6700 XT here you can see this one here is the 1800 core and this one here is the 2200 core uh, so I get more hash rate on the 2200 core 2185 hash on the 1800 core I get 1800 hash so yeah that's pretty much all I got for this video so leave a like comment and subscribe to support the channel and have a great day see ya